collect out of him. And that's the reason why he's coming back. And all the holy angels with him, yeah. then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations. Yeah, all nations is in the scripture right here. But what are you going to do with all nations in the scripture right here? He shall be gathered all nations, and the and he shall separate them one from another. Yeah, you don't look up words, man. Look up the word separate, man. That's right. It ain't mean together, man. It's just each other. I told you, come to, I told you, Jesus love everybody, man. That's right. So he gonna separate them, man. So I don't want everybody to be together, man. This new world order shit, man. Everybody come together. That's that's off, man. The, the Lord ain't want the Lord ain't want us to be with all you heathens, man. That's right. If the Lord wanted it that way, man, you know, he would have made one nation, man. He made 18 nations. And out of the 18 nation, he loved one nation up to this day, man. And that's Israel only. Can I say something, bro? Yeah. How can you take that out of context? Yeah. How can you... The scriptures say there's no private interpretation of the scriptures. But how can you take this out of context? How, how, what <laughs> other breakdown can you get from this? And it says, And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them... One from another. He didn't say he's going to bring them together for love and happiness. Yeah. He said he's going to separate them. And let's see why he's yeah. going to separate them. I, I say something, man. Mm -hmm. This is a scripture you could use on these people, man. To right. say Jesus came to save everybody. This You could bring this scripture out, man. You're going to cut them right away, man. They ain't going to know what to say, man. And these, and these are the basics, man. Yeah. This is the foundation. These are the things you need to be rooted on before you come up on a level like how you see certain brothers across the states and the elders. Yeah. These are the scriptures you got to uh, be grounded with, all right? And it says, And before him shall he be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another yeah. as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. Yeah, like a shepherd in a farm. He got goats and he got sheep. Right. Yeah, man. Who, who was the goats? You eat them, I said, are the goats, man. The sheep is Israel is known as the sheep. So you're going to separate you Edomites from Israel, man. So, okay. Yeah. One from another, a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. Yeah. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand. Yeah, right hand, right being righteous on the righteous side. So Israel is going to be on the righteous side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the goats on <laughs> the left. Yeah, you goats, man. You, you damn Edomites. You're going to be on the left side, man. And you're you're going to be getting ass kicked. There's a little more. Keep, then shall the king say unto them yeah. on his right hand, mm -hmm. Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundations of the world. Yeah, so since the world began, man. That's right. It was always prepared for Israel, and the kingdom always and will be prepared for Israel. You other nations going to be in the kingdom, what are you going to be a slave and servants, man? That's what you're going to be, man. Once again, yeah. how can you misinterpret? How can you get the all nations can be saved with that? You can jump onto the forty-one verse. Okay, well, that's, okay. How can you get all nations can be saved from that though? <laughs> he said, "Then shall the king, then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared from you from the foundation of the world.' So it was already set in stone when the Most High." Back in Genesis, created the heavens and the earth, that Israel was going to be made for the kingdom. All right, you said forty-one. Yeah. Verse forty-one, Matthew twenty-five, Matthew twenty-five and forty-one. Then shall he say also unto them on his left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Yeah, so what's that everlasting fire? That, that, that's a nuclear missile that's going to hit America. So you on the left-hand side, man, that's what you got to look forward to, man. You on the nations, man, that's what you got to look forward to, destruction, man. That's right, that's right. Let me get, um, let me get Luke 1, 168, 168 to, um, to 71. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord power of Israel, yeah. for he had visit, visited and redeemed his people. Yeah, he, look up the word. Yeah, look, I ain't going to look up the word for you, man. You can look up the word for yourself. Look up the word redeem. Right. Look up Look up his people, man. His people is on um, Israel. Or re, he come to redeem his people, no other people. Why, why ain't say he is coming to redeem the whole world? It's say his people. Blessed be the Lord power of Israel, for he had visited 
and <laughs> redeemed his people yeah. and have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Yeah, so, yeah, man, so David going to be the physical king on earth. What chapter are you, 71? Yeah, this is 69. Yeah. This one is 69. Yeah. Keep going to, um... Okay. And he have raised up a horn of salvation for us yeah. in the house of his servant David. Who's the us? Israel. Yeah. And what does horn represent? A horn represents power. So he said he raised up a power of salvation for Israel, basically, yeah. in the house of his servant David, yeah. as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Yeah. Who, who is this holy prophet? Yeah. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Malachi. Micah. Micah, Ezekiel, Zechariah, Daniel, Daniel, David. Yeah. yeah. Even the Lord was a, was, a, was a prophet, man. That's right. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Yeah, since, since the world began, since in the garden, he had prophets, man. And the Lord always spoke by his prophets, and he's still speaking by his prophets today. You see the prophets on the corners on, on, on the Saturday when he passed them by. On the streets and you wag your hands. That's the prophets of the Most High, man. Yeah, and and, and when you read it, when yeah. you read it, he's going into yeah. as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. I say something, man. Yeah. What, what, what nation was all the prophets of? What's up? What nation was all the prophets from, man? Israel. Yeah. So Israel. So he ain't said Esau, man. Yeah, Israel. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And and basically the the sentences continue on. Yeah. It said, "Blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, for He hath visited and redeemed His people, as He hath raised the horn of salvation for us in the house of His servant David, as He spake by the mouth of His holy prophets." So the prophets were speaking this ever since the beginning of time, as He spake by the mouth of His holy prophets, yeah. which have been since the world began. Yeah. That we should be saved from our enemies. <laughs> Who? Israel. You Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Mexicans. This was spoken by the Lord, by his prophets. All right? That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The oath which he swear to our father Abraham. Yeah, and he got and the most sight he could never lie, man. It's impossible for the most sight to lie. Even though he hate hate us because we turned it because we went after whoring after idols and stuff, but he still love us, man. And he ain't gonna he ain't gonna forget us, man. That's why he sent back Yahweh Shah to redeem redeem us and deliver us out of here, man. He died for only Israel only, man. That's it. That he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. And say enemies, so we do got enemies, man. People say we ain't got enemies, man. All these other nations, outside the nation of Israel is your enemy, man. That's right. You, as the scripture says, you're supposed to marry them, you're supposed to get a son to them, to marry with daughters to them, man. You're supposed to, they ain't supposed to be, be fret buddy buddy with them, man. Right. They are our enemies forever, man. That's it. Mm, yeah. And that he would grant unto us and that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Hmm. That's it. Yeah, that's scripture for you right here. What's up? It's a book of um Book of um St. John's chapter um four. Mm -hmm. yeah, um four and twenty one it says um Jesus say unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when when ye shall neither in the in, in the mountains nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Yeah, because when you read into the story a little before that, the Lord was talking to the Samaritan woman, and the woman wanted to know why <laughs> why basically her people wasn't the chosen, okay? Mm -hmm. She wanted to know why the Lord wasn't dealing with her people. Read that again. It says, um, Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in, in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. So none of them heathens going to be worshiping when, when the Lord makes his grand appearance. All right? All right. Ye worship, ye know not what ye know what ye worship for salvation is of the Jews. Ye worship, ye know not what. For salvation is of the Jews, all right? 
And this is the Lord speaking right here, man. Yeah, that's the Lord himself. That's a commandment, too. That's right. Ye know what ye worship not. So the majority of these people, the multitudes of these people out here, they really don't know what they're worshiping. Especially these <laughs> peon crackers and two-thirds of our people. They think the Lord is a so-called white man. All right? They think their God is Buddha, Allah, and so on and so forth. They know what they worship. They know not what they worship. We know what we worship. Yahweh mm -hmm. Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Which Yahweh, the name of the Father, and Yahweh Shah, the name of the Son. All right? And we know our power. Mm -hmm. And he's a so called black man, too. Yeah. All right? It's, it, they don't, it's, it's the scripture that was bringing in the church, your most famous scripture right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, every, every time we are camp and, and they bring the scripture, we always, we, always, we always cut them, man. This is the book of St. John's, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting this life. This is the famous church line of the century. This is the number one church hit. The only scripture that the church read, which they have no understanding in. All right? Because when you look up the Greek, all right? Because you got to look up your words, Akio. All right? You got to go to etymology and go and type in Google. The Blue Letter Bible. The Blue Letter Bible is a good uh, tool. All right? Mm -hmm. You got to search up your words. Now, the word world in that scripture is cosmos, mm -hmm. which means a separate separate organization or a group. All right? And what's that organization? What's that group? Israel. Mm -hmm. You Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Mexicans. That's the word world, cosmos. All right? Look it up if you don't believe me. All right. Let me get on St. John 17 and 9. St. John chapter 17, verse 9. Mm -hmm. Pray, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Yeah, this is a Lord.